I would like to dedicate this to my husband, a best friend of 22 years, Joe. Woo. The only one that can stand my insanity. <laughs> I gotta do this, sorry. Woke up mad again. They had the nerve to say those words. Nails standing at the chalkboard. Scraped their fingers from top to bottom. Screeching words that weren't real. Foreign from, to my vocabulary. Speaking French to my English mind. Talking to a solid steel wall. I'll stand behind because it'll never ever be my reality. When can I make my real real for you? Yeah, come to my reel. Let's do that. As a matter of fact, open your hands. I'm going to place in one a neatly folded, perfect plan for your life. Exactly the way everything is supposed to happen. Fold it. Fold it again. 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 Rip it in half. Crumble those pieces. Release them from your grip and watch them fall. That cascade of the ground is the mound inside of me. When I think of how I'm supposed to live without him, breathing in this atmosphere with him no longer around me, why they think they can speak those simple words into me, like dead, gone, except no more. That astounds me. This world won't get away with it. It's going to have to deal with me, the live volcano that's inside me. Maybe down the road, I'll allow myself to feel a touch of humanity, but right now, nobody's going to be my friend. I ended. My pain is ugly. I like nothing, and nothing likes me. I'll never be my name again. Grief doesn't fit inside me or a frame. If you're afraid of ugly, forget you know me. Don't speak my old name. Say nothing or just be patient and pray while you hold me. Pray for the day that I let humanity know me again. Till then, don't know all the answers could none of us do. World, take me jaded. Till God makes me whole or my spotlight's faded. Gigi, don't go anywhere. Just, just do another one. Yeah.